Welcome to Machine Learning for Engineering and Science Applications. I am Balaji Srinivasan. I am in the Mechanical Engineering Department. Hi, I am Ganapati Krishnamurti. I am in the Department of Engineering Design and both of us are from IIT Madras. So if we look at various applications that all of us are using already in real life, for example, this is Amazon's recommender system. Uh, some of you might have seen Amazon Echo, which is a speech recognition system. Uh, of course, everybody has used Gmail's spam classifier and this is uh, Google uh, Lexus. This is a latest self-driving car. All of these use machine learning algorithms in one way or the other. Our purpose in this course is to try and utilize the same algorithms for more general problems. For example, medical image diagnosis or for speeding up uh, CFD computations. We look at the course aims. Basically, we will try to understand some of the basic machine learning models thoroughly with uh, specific emphasis on deep learning, which is the current state of the art in machine learning. Uh, for instance, uh, recent advances in GANs or generative adversarial networks and also in reinforcement learning. We will learn to apply these techniques to problems in engineering, uh, for example, problems in medical image analysis as well as turbulence modeling in computational fluid dynamics. We expect you to learn to program in Python and also to learn to program in popular uh, deep learning platforms like PyTorch and TensorFlow. Uh, briefly, the course outline. The course consists of three broad parts. The part one will be focused on artificial neural networks and deep learning or deep neural networks, which will include CNNs and RNNs or recurrent neural networks. And other we will also cover other classical techniques like binary decision trees, random forests and probabilistic techniques. We will conclude the course with, with a look at the recent advances in the field of deep learning which includes variational autoencoders, autoencoders in general, generative models which include generative adversarial networks as well as a small introduction to reinforcement learning. Thank you.